Hi guys, so for this uh, cowl I'll be using yarn in Love Pen brand and I'll be using circular needles in size 6.5 millimeter. So I'll make a slip stitch and I will make 80 stitches. So that'll be 2, 3, 4, five, six, continue until you have uh, 80 stitches. This yarn is so soft. Now that I have 80 stitches, I'm gonna make one more stitch and we are gonna slip this stitch on our right needle, pick up this previous stitch with our left needle and pass over this We're just going to do this one time, so the row is not visible or restarted. And if you don't feel comfortable, you don't have to do that either. Now again, we're going to slip this stitch on the left needle. Then we are going to knit two. Purl two. knit two, then purl two. Knit two, then purl two. Knit two, then purl two. So we we'll knit two and purl two throughout this row. For row two, we'll knit two, then purl two. Knit two, then purl two. knit two, then purl two. We will repeat this throughout this row. So my work reaches now uh, about 17 inches. Now we're going to start to finish off. So we are going to knit the first stitch and then we're going to knit the second stitch and with our left needle we're going to pick up the first stitch here that we knitted and we're going to pass it over the second stitch then for our next two stitches as you can see they are purl stitches we're going to purl the first one then we are going to pass the first stitch over the second stitch Again we will purl the next stitch and then we will repeat. Next two stitches are knitted, so we will knit them and slip the first stitch over the second. And basically we will be doing this throughout this row. When I was, I think, in uh, first or second grade, my auntie made something like this for me. It wasn't the same pattern, it was different, but nevertheless it was very cool. <laughs> I liked it. I thought I was the coolest kid in school at the time. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll just make 
the same pattern as she used just for the memory sake and we we'll repeat this for the rest of our stitches until we have only one stitch in our needle now we only have one stitch in our needle we'll just chain one then we cut the yarn Make sure you leave a uh, uh, tail in medium length so we can weave these ends in. Now we make one knot and then we'll cut the yarn. Uh, so this is how it looks so far. Now I'm going to take a few pictures and attach them so you guys can see how it looks. I hope this video tutorial was helpful and easy enough to follow. Thanks for watching!